Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 186, EFT Tapping Through the Course in Miracles workbook. If you want to know what this process is all about, you can watch lesson one for an overview. And so we're still in these longer, more dense lessons. Lesson 186 is Salvation of the World Depends on Me. Let's go to the side of the hand, repeating after me while tapping. Even though I have not always recognized my true function, I choose to honor and accept myself where I'm at. Salvation of the world depends on me. And even though I usually want the constantly changing goals of this world, I choose to have compassion for myself and recognize salvation of the world depends on me. Even though I've often not recognized my calling, and part of me might find the very title of this lesson to be extreme or arrogant, I'm open to the possibility that it actually requires great humility. And I choose to honor and accept myself through this process. Okay, through the points now. Salvation of the world depends on me. Here is the statement that will one day take all arrogance away from every mind. Here is the thought of true humility, which holds no function as your own, but that which has been given you. It unites all wills on earth in heaven's plan to save the world, restoring it to heaven's peace. Let us not fight our function. We did not establish it. It is not our idea. The means are given us by which it will be perfectly accomplished. All that we are asked to do is to accept our part in genuine humility. And I choose to do just this, to embrace my part with humility. This does not ask that you be different in any way from what you are. And I embrace this assignment today, releasing any resistance to the idea that a function has been given me. It is pride that would deny the call for God himself. I choose to lay aside all false humility today. We do not doubt our adequacy for the function he will offer us. The humble are free to hear the voice which tells them what they are and what to do. Arrogance makes an image of yourself that is not real. You are not weak, as is the image of yourself. I choose to let the image go. 
salvation of the world depends on you and not on this little pile of dust. And so we find our peace. Our self-made roles are shifting. And they seem to change from mourner to ecstatic bliss. Recognizing my constant change in desires and goals and moods. Is this the Son of God? Could he create, create such instability and call it Son? All the images his Son appears to make have no effect on what he is. They blow across his mind like windswept leaves. These unsubstantial images will go and leave your mind unclouded and serene when you accept the function given you. And I choose to accept my function. The functions which the world esteems are so uncertain that they change 10 times an hour at their most secure. But what hope of gain can rest on goals like this? I choose to be open to letting those goals go. Your truly given function stands out clear and wholly unambiguous. Your plan may be impossible, but God's can never fail. Do as God's voice directs. And if it asks a thing of you, which seems impossible. I choose to remember who it is that asks. His gentle voice is calling. Love must give. And what is given in his name takes on the form most useful in a world of form. Now just keep tapping as I read this final section. These are the forms which can never deceive because they come from formlessness itself. Forgiveness is an earthly form of love, which as it is in heaven has no form. Yet what is needed here is given here as it is needed. In this form, you can fulfill your function even here. Although we'll what love will mean to you when formlessness has been restored to you is greater still. Salvation of the world depends on you who can forgive. Such is your function here. And repeat after me. I choose to accept my function. Salvation of the world depends on me. Okay, take a breath. Hmm. Yeah, how did that go for you? A little congested. Hope my voice was okay. But yeah, still in that amazing kind of conversation about accepting our function because even though God or infinity is, you know, formless, forgiveness is not in the formless, but it's a way that it appears here in the world of form. And that because it's beyond us, at least as I'm conceptualizing it going through the lesson it's communicated to us from the formless to be expressed in form and obviously when i try to think of my own goals for the day like what should i do today it's not coming from it's coming from my mind it's coming from my ego it's not going to be coming from this sort of infinite formlessness 
if I'm taking on the typical goals of the world. Doesn't mean they have to look extravagant, is my understanding, but it's where they come from. So what are your thoughts on that? I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. All right, have a good day. Take care.